vlog. Welcome back. New week, new day, new Monday. It is six o'clock in the evening. Look at all this gorgeous sunlight that's coming into my room right now. Starting off the week good. This morning I got up and I did a workout. Watching and editing uh, last week's vlog was very confronting. I did not like the person that I was last week. Uh, so I decided to make some changes this week in getting up early and moving my body first thing is definitely going to put me in the right headspace for a good day. It's really hard. I don't love exercising, but I do love the way that it makes me feel. I started reading The Glow. I started it on Saturday night in the wee hours. The Glow by Otessa Moshvig. I would describe this as literary fiction. That's mostly, I guess, the genre I read. Um, I do like to dabble in other things. I would say that this is a historical fiction. It's set in the 1800s, 1851. And we are following the character McGlue. He is an alcoholic. He's woken up in the hold of a ship, severely hungover, probably very most likely drunk from the night before. He's got blood all over himself. It doesn't belong to him. He doesn't have any memory of what's happened the night before. And he is being accused of killing someone. So that is the story. It is wild. It's just, yeah, I would say it's just okay. The writing's really good, just, you know, to be expected, but, and it's quite funny. So yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a different one, but I am enjoying it. Hopefully I was able to describe this book to you enough that if you're interested in it, any of what I just said at all, it'll make you want to pick it up. Um, yeah, literary fiction, historical fiction. Sure, we'll go with that. That's the opening of this reading vlog. Um, cool, I will check in when I'm finished and let you know my final thoughts. Morning. Um, day two of waking up in the morning, getting up, exercising, moving the body, feeling good. It's definitely a thing, so... Um, I don't know if you're watching this and you feel like you need to get up and move your body. Um, I finished my glue last night and oh, it was really good. It was a weird kind of fever dream little novella. Uh, Moshvig writes foul, gross life really well and highlights kind of uh, people on the fringes of society in a way that uh, not glamorizing them but definitely kind of giving them a platform to write about them uh, it's definitely dealing with uh, alcoholism and the withdrawal of that uh, I guess the the friendship that the main character has with um, <clears throat> this man that he's supposed to have killed is really tender and sweet and it sometimes I think uh, quite intimate um, as he kind of takes care of him but also feeds 
this addiction that he has. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a different little book to read. So, I don't know, if you're into kind of like very gross, visceral descriptions of some pretty hardcore shit at times, uh, give it a go. Okay, um, but now I need to pick the next little novella. I'm also running late for work, so, because I had things to do this morning. Uh, what are we going to read? Let us flip the camera. Choices are Junior Wolf, Room of One's Own, Ties by Domina Costanone. That one could, could, could be quite good to start. Uh, good Morning, Midnight by Jean Rhys. The Pumpkin Eater. Um, I could be into a bit of that. I might take a couple with me to work and just see. I might take Ties and the Pumpkin Eater. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these two to work and see how we get along. I think either way I'll read whatever one I read, uh, don't read, I'll read next anyway, so. Cool. Uh, very fun. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty dark. I'm dressed like a child today. I'll show you my outfit really quick. Um, so, this jacket that I have now officially stolen from Rupert. Um, I need to get a bigger one because... So yeah, I'm wearing like shorts, a striped top, socks and white sneakers. And, I, and my bandana, which makes me feel like a little kid every time I do it like this. Okay. Um, yeah, we're off to work. I... Will she come with you later? I have to go to the supermarket after work and do the grocery shop because I didn't do it yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And... We'll see how it goes. Okay, bye. Kia ora, kia ora. Oh, look at how beautiful I look in this light. Um, it's like seven o'clock, so just catching those last rays in this bedroom. Thought I would tell you which book I've decided to pick up next. So I've read uh, the first chapter of each of the books. And I decided to go with Ties by Domenico Stano only because it basically opens with an angry wife giving it to her husband who is having an affair. So I'm here for that. Um, but what this book is about. So, Ties by Domenico Stanone, uh, translated from the Italian by Giuppa Lahiri. You've probably heard me say that a million times, but just in case anyone hasn't. Um, yeah, I read his book Trust last month and I really enjoyed it. Complicated, dysfunctional relationships are, I think, the things he chooses to explore in his writing and I've heard that this one is really good. Uh, it's about a marriage. Let me read the blurb for you. Ties is the story of marriage. Like many marriages this one has subject this one has been subject to strain, to attrition, to the burden of routine, yet it has survived intact. So things appear. The rupture in Vanda and Aldo's marriage lies years in the past, but if one looks closely enough, the fissures and fault lines are evident. Their marriage is a cracked vase that may shatter at the slightest touch, or perhaps it already has shattered, and nobody is willing to acknowledge the fact. A powerful short novel about 
relationships, love, uh, a relationships, family, love, and the ineluctable, ineluctable consequences of one's actions. I don't know what that word means. I'm not afraid to say it, so I'm gonna uh, Google it. Oh, that's nice. Unable to be resisted or avoided. Inescapable. So yeah, that's that book. It's my second little novella for novellas in November. I'm hoping to read three this week. Uh, I'm gonna read The Pumpkin Eater after this one anyway, I decided, so. It was just a matter of what I felt like starting today, so. We're gonna start that. I didn't get a chance to read any of this at work. Work was really busy today. Let's, let's read, let's do some reading. Let's have a little read. I didn't get up and exercise this morning. And we're back to our little mukbang breakfast morning catch up sessions. I was so tired this morning, I slept right through my alarm. I decided today is a rest day. This though, started this last night. Woo! Read the first book. Uh, it's told in three books, so the first book is like 40 pages. It's told in letters to, from the wife to the husband as he is leaving her, as he's left her and then subsequently like years after that. Leaving her and their children. Um, and she really just lets him have it initially. But then she kind of like pulls back a little bit in the hopes that he'll come back. And you just see her kind of trying to plead with him and get him to change his mind. And then it just changes. She's like decided that no, he's he has chosen to completely change the world of her, her and his children. But yeah, it's it's really good so far. I'm interested to see how the rest of the the rest of the like the whole rest of the book is going to be told because the first one was purely her exchanges to him, so you didn't hear any of his responses. She kind of alluded uh, mentions that he is like ignoring her and just how frustrating it would feel. I felt that frustration. So yeah, I'm very interested to see how the rest of this book goes. Because it's good so far. It's pretty good. So, it's Wednesday. Middle of the week. Hump, the hump day. Woo! Right. I'm gonna finish getting ready for work. Uh, it's my one year anniversary on a bookstagram today. So I've officially been in the book community for one year. I owe a lot to it. It's been great. Yeah. It's my little celebration today. I might have a glass of wine at the end of the day and read my book. Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be lovely? Okay. I shall go and talk to you later. Bye. Kia ora. It's really dark in here. I suppose it is. Uh, it's got home from work. Really tired today. That is so boring. You don't care. Um, but I did something fun after work. I went inside a shop and I bought a book. A bookshop. I went into a bookshop and I bought a book. I can't even say the words, that's how crazy it feels. And it was so bizarre. And I spent quite a while in there. And yeah, I missed it. I missed it so much. I didn't think that I was going to be, be one of those people that was like jumping to like go into a shop. But as soon as I thought about it today, I was like, I am definitely going to the bookshop. So I did. I went into the women's bookshop in Ponsonby. It's just up the road from work and I bought a book. I bought All Men Want to Know by Nina Burawi. Um, it is a piece of autofiction. 
about Nina's life uh, and the two countries that she's kind of grown up in, uh, Algeria and France, and kind of how she has had to kind of keep secret or hide her uh, sexuality a lot of her life and what that looks like and yeah I've seen it around on the internet and I had he I've heard people say that it's really good so um I picked it up just the one book I only bought one book which is very unlike me I almost bought two but I didn't I put a book on that is coming into the bookshop that they didn't have in stock. I put that on order so that when it comes in, they'll tease me. So, yeah, that's what I did today. It's a bookish thing I did today. And I also bought some little mini champagne bubbles to drink because I felt like it. And it's really hot today. It's like muggy and definitely feels like summer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read my book because we're having fish and chips for dinner and I'm excited because the reason I don't have to cook, basically. I'm whispering because I don't want Rupert to hear it there. Okay. Bye. How's everyone today? Um, uh, it's Thursday. Woohoo! We've made it almost to the end of a week. The weather this week has been phenomenal. And apparently it's supposed to turn to shit on the weekend. So that's great. Um, but retail is open. So we are going to have to go do some book shopping this weekend, I think. I think, what, I think that's what we're going to have to do to make up for it. I'm just so happy because of the weather. Like, this is my perfect uh, temperature weather. It was fucking hot yesterday and I loved it. I love being hot. Like, I don't care how hot it gets. I love it. And I made a smoothie for breakfast this morning. It's pretty good. I think it's going to be a great day. I'm really excited. about today for some reason. I should probably go. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Morena. It's Friday. Woohoo. Um, I didn't get up again today to exercise. I was so tired. Uh, yeah, I slept right through my alarm. I'm pretty sure Rupert had to come in and turn it off because I didn't hear it. And I don't feel too bad today though. I feel like it was a sleeping that I needed so I haven't <clears throat> woken up feeling like lethargic or really really tired so that is good um yeah gonna go to work first day of retail a little bit nervous it should be good uh hopefully the day goes fast hopefully the day goes by really quickly yeah that's all I have to say just good morning going to work and trying to have it a good day. Um, talk to you guys later. I haven't finished ties, I'm still about 90 pages in, so there's 150 pages, so I love this book so far. I'm predicting that it's going to be a five star read for me. It's just so many good unsaid things that are going on in here being addressed yeah but I I want to ruminate on them a bit more before I try to voice them because then otherwise they'll sound stupid and um, not as articulate as I want to be or not even that just like I want to do it justice and speak about this book in a way that it deserves so we will Read it more today and have a think about it and hopefully finish it tomorrow and then 
can share my final thoughts on it. But yeah, loving it so far. Um, okay, off to work. Um, so I got lots of books of mail at work today. Question is, do I open it to you first or do I open it to Instagram first? Probably Instagram because it'll be way too long if we, if I don't want you. Yeah, so we're just going to film another book haul this weekend because I've got a few others that you haven't seen. Well, you've seen a little bit of them, but um, <sighs> Jesus, so many text messages. Also, I'm getting acne from wearing a mask all the time. Yeah, so I'm gonna open this book mail. You'll see it on Instagram probably, but if you don't watch Instagram, then you'll see it on my channel. Okay, bye. Good morning, it is Saturday. Um, it's very rainy and it's very drizzly. Well, it's drizzly outside, very gray. Um, a shame because the weather was so nice this week uh, but I'm going to go and meet a friend Sophie from what Sophie read on Instagram we are gonna go to unity books and we're gonna go to Jason books which Jason I've talked about on my Instagram but it's a secondhand bookstore where I like to take a lot of my books to sell for store credit and then I can buy books from them they have a really good selection so we're gonna go there and should I say we're gonna get a coffee I don't know we're gonna get a coffee as well and what else I might go to a couple of other secondhand bookshops as well and maybe try some op shops see if they are open should be a good day. Good book day. Anyway, I'm going to go and brush my teeth and then go. Also, my hair is super frizzy today because obviously, even though it's rainy and drizzly, it's still really warm and humid and my hair don't like that. I'll see you in like two seconds. I still haven't finished ties, but I will today. Um, I am going to film a book haul as well because I have acquired a lot of books in the last week. But ones that I'm not going to include in that are ones that I bought yesterday. Uh, so I'm not going to include these ones in that, so I thought I would quickly show you. So I went to Unity Books, which is an independent bookstore in Auckland. I got uh, Clarissa Spector, Daydream and Drunkenness of a Young Lady, just a little Penguin Modern. Got Lie With Me by Philippe Besson, translated fiction, translated by Ro Molly Ringwald, of all people. Um, I got Flush by Virginia Woolf. This was after seeing Anna Wallace Johnson's reading vlog on this book. It sounded super cute, so I had to pick it up. Uh, and then I got Road to the City by Natalia Ginsburg, a little novella. Next, I went to a bookstore called uh, Jason Books, where I like to take um, books that I want to sell in, in exchange for store credit. And I got seven books from there. First one I saw was uh, The First Bad Man by Miranda July. It's a novel. Got her short story collection. 
Now I'm belongs to Modern Year. Heard it's really weird. I think that novel's quite weird as well. Then I picked up um, This Is How You Lose Her by Juno Diaz. Uh, I think this is a short story collection as well, but it's got a main character who kind of interconnects them all, I think. Um, a lot of people on my Instagram said that they really enjoyed this, so very excited for that. The next one I got was Mrs. Bridge by Evan S. Connell. Um, apparently there's a Mr. Bridge version to this book and I am intrigued. But yeah, it's about a housewife who is increasingly becoming quite unhappy with her life. So yeah, excited about that. Next one I picked up is You Should Have Left by Daniel Kalman. Um, this is just another little wee guy. Sounded quite... I want to say sinister, maybe quite abstract as well. It's about a writer who goes to a cabin in the woods to write uh, his screenplay. Yeah, so I picked that up. The next three I picked up were all New Zealand Māori writers. Um, first one was Ponamu Ponamu by Witi Ihimaira. Uh, this is his short story collection. I've actually read this in high school. It was a long time ago. Um, but I wanted to own the book and I felt like uh, this was this is a good addition to match my version of my edition of Tangi that I have of his. So I picked that one up. Next I picked up just a little another little collection of short stories by Apirana Taylor called Hero Aroha A Hundred Leaves of Love. Um, and this one just I don't know, it just I was drawn to it. The cover, handsome Maori young man. Um, yeah, so I picked that one up. And then the last one I picked up was The Bone People by Kiri Hulm. I don't even know how to say that name. Um, this is a book that Kieran has read. Kieran from Caddy Books. He um, is reading it as part of his Booker Boy project, reading all the Booker winners. This won the Booker Prize in 1985, and apparently it's weird as shit. So he asked me to read it. I found a copy yesterday, I bought it, and I will read it at some point, Kieran, and let you know what I think. Okay, oh, the next book um, is one that my friend Sophie actually gave me. We met up yesterday to go book shopping. Um, which was really nice. It was nice to see her. It was nice to browse bookshops to catch up, even though we couldn't like do anything else. It would have been nice to like go have a coffee somewhere, but obviously couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, she gave me this copy of Intimacies by Katie Kitamura, um, which I really have been wanting to read. So thank you so much, Sophie. She is so sweet and is always um, asking me if I want books that she's getting rid of, which so nice um i do the same to her but obviously she has like much better taste than me and it's like no thank you i don't want your books um the next one i picked up was actually one that i ordered the other day from the women's bookshop while i was there and that is happy hour by marlo granados um again this is one that i've seen a lot on youtube and bookstagram it sounds like a really fun um book full, full of like frivolity and just like good times uh, and then I went to Jason which not Jason um hard to find books which is another secondhand bookshop um they have a really awesome collection of secondhand books you can always count on finding whatever it is you're looking for there and I got quite a few books two four six eight ten I got 12 books from there, so I'm going to show you really quickly. Um, I got American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. I've been looking for a copy of this book, but I have been really particular about the edition, and when I saw this one, um, I had to have it. Next one I picked up was Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. I have heard lots about this author. Um, saw this and thought I would start with there. It's just a little novella. Uh, I picked up Cherry by Mary Carr, which is her memoir written about her tumultuous teen, teens and sexual coming of age. So yeah, that was a cool find. 
Next one is Blind Willow Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami. This is a collection of short stories by him. Then I picked up uh, Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Uh, a classic that I have wanted to get my hands on. Found this really cool edition, so picked that one up. Um, then I got Eileen, which I already own, but this edition I just love and will probably swap it out for the one that I currently have. Um, yeah, super stoked to have found this. The next six, I actually went back today and I got more books. Um, Jessica, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Please don't hate me. Um, the first one was... I went back because I knew that they had it and I forgot to get it picked up yesterday. And that is The Story of the Lost Child by Elena Ferrante. This is the fourth book in the Neapolitan series and the last one that I was missing. I'm going to start reading this um, series in December with Sophie from Golden Hour Books. Uh, and uh, now I feel better about starting it knowing that I have all four books. So yeah, stoked to find that. That's what I went there to get because I knew they had it. And then I bought other books as well. Um, I got a couple of Grace Paley books. I got Later the Same Day, short story collection. And Enormous Changes at the Last Minute, another short story collection, I believe. Uh, then I found this awesome copy of... Uh, a Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor. This is a collection of stories as well. She's someone that I've wanted to read her writing and I was looking for her stuff while I was there and didn't find it, but then I saw this at the counter as I was paying and I had to have it, so stoked to find that. And then I found two really awesome NYRBs. I found Chess Story by Stefan Zweig, which has been on my TBR specifically in this edition I wanted it in the edition so I was stoked to find that today and then the other one is The Green Man by Kingsley Amos I haven't heard of this book but obviously the NYRB caught my eye and yeah it's just it's about a middle-aged man who is haunted by death and is afraid of dying and everyone else around him dying so yeah it sounded quite interesting so I grabbed that one as well uh, I'm going to go finish Ties so that I can give my final thoughts on it. I'm still really loving it. I've only got like 30 pages to go, so I'm going to finish that in the next little bit. And see you then. It is Monday. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit as yesterday because I couldn't be bothered thinking today. The reason that I'm still recording this vlog on a Monday is because I fell asleep reading this last night. Which is really bizarre because I had a two hour nap yesterday and didn't think I was going to be able to sleep last night but apparently I was really tired. So tired that I went to bed at like 8.30. But I finished this this morning. I only had like five pages to go so. And I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Five star read from me. Uh, see, I saw so many similarities between Ties and Trust, <clears throat> which I read last month. Um, yeah, and I just thought it was really brilliant. I thought the way that he wrote the, <clears throat> the wife character in the first part, in the first book, was really well done, to the point where... I forgot that it was a man writing it. He was just able to capture her kind of frustration and pleading and I guess her undoing so well. I thought that it, um, Sadone did a really good job of making the reader feel torn. Like, these characters are really, I guess, being portrayed in their most ugly form. Uh, they're doing doing things that aren't you know they're hurting each other to the point of it almost being cruel but <clears throat> I 
I found with his other book and this one that I wasn't ever at any moment really unforgiving to those characters because of that. Like, he did such a good job at uh, letting them bear their emotions, but in a way that was just like, okay, I understand. Even if I am not have not been in that situation, he does a, such a good job at um, putting you in that position and making you feel, or yeah, just making you feel sympathetic towards those characters. Beautiful writing, beautiful translation, also. And I haven't read the introduction yet, so I will do that. I didn't want to read the introduction because I've read introductions before that have given away a lot of the, the story. And so I kind of read them afterwards, as, as in afterward. Um, <clears throat> although I did read the first couple of paragraphs. Yeah, so loved this book. Would highly recommend. Uh, definitely up there with one of my favourite reads of the year. Uh, I think I've talked about this enough this week, this past week, so yeah, if I haven't convinced you to go and read it, this is me saying please read it, it was just fantastic and I loved it. Okay, so this is me wrapping up this vlog and then I'll probably just start a new one straight after this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that this, this vlog might have been a little bit shorter I think but we'll see how we go with the short vlogs maybe maybe it's better that I just talk about books and don't talk about too much else I don't know I'm still figuring this out I am enjoying the uh the talking in real time about a book though that's that's been really nice for me and I think it's um I think you got you get a lot more out of me that way rather than monthly wrap-ups. I know I'm used to set those, but I don't know. We will see, we will see. Okay, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!